Hey everybody, this is Jay back with another video. This is going to be a video about my low C grave digger, LMT, whatever you want to call it. A um, couple of quick updates, by the way. I got the new um, Proline demolisher tires on there, all the way around. 60 bucks a piece. <laughs> well, for a set. So I got them on there now. Um, do this real quick, but there you go. Those are demolisher tires. They're a lot softer. Um, but I wanted to make this video more about this ECU here. Which this ECU, if you can't see it, it's right there. SP MX SF um, 1130. Nope, E, SE 1130, sorry. But that's the ECU that's in here. I had a big problem with this. All of a sudden, I put the, the middle um, differential in the wrong way. But you can put it in either way. It goes in either way. But when you do put it in, if it's, if you put it in and it's going the opposite direction, that like if you go forward on the controller and it goes this way, and you know if it goes backwards, you need to change some options. And most people would come and look here at the manual. This is the full manual, as you can see here. This is the one that comes with it. But I'm here to tell you guys, this programming table is wrong. This is accurate all the way up to um, 9. But after 9, that's wrong. It's missing 12. And number 10 and 11 are wrong. Because if you come and actually look on their website, by the way, this is the programming thing right from Spectrum. As you see there, there is 12 programming items, programmable items. And if, say, if you're trying to do motor rotation, which is 10, you come over here and it's going to be thermal protection. Say, if you want to change your lipo cells, as you see here, that's 11. It should be on auto, which is 1. So if you go 11, that is that. The counter rotation. The motor rotation. Counterclockwise and clockwise. And you'll be screwing things up. Because if, if, if you do that and it's not on the right one, you're actually changing. Um, if you're trying to ch look for the lipos, you're thinking, you know, 11 is the last one, motor rotation. Default is 2. If you change your lipos to 2, you know, it, it's not going to work right. 10 is thermal protection. You might disable that. So I, I just wanted to put this out there, and I am actually going to be talking to the manufacturer of these, the Spectra, Spectrum or whatever, and I'm going to be introducing, uh, well, telling my local hobby shop as well, did my thing just straight up die? It wasn't even unplugged that long. Holy crap. Oh, there it goes. Um, no, not even close to dying. But I'm going to be talking to my local hobby shop and letting them know that this is not correct and not accurate, the manual. Because look at it. 12 right there. 11 in the book. As you can clearly see. 11 here. 12. So, if you get anything from Spectra, Spectrum, or anything that has Spectrum equipment on it, don't go buy these manuals. And this is the regular manual that comes with the LMT, Grave Digger, and the Son of a Digger. This book is wrong. It's misprinted. That is the actual, actual thing. And when you go through the programming on here, you can get all that stuff. Normally, this one says, the book says 10, or 11, but there's actually 12. So this is straight up wrong, and I don't have the updater for it. So I haven't done any updating. As you can see, straight right there. 11. Now, if you come in here, watch this. This is how you'd enter the programming. You turn it on. You hold the set button until the light blinks back there. About three seconds. You see it's blinking. 
And then you can just press it to go through the menus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. According to this book, there should not be a 12. It should go back to 1. And if I press it one more time, now it's back to 1. As you can see, these manuals are wrong. I would definitely be careful with these. Have a good day, everybody.